Hey guys, Copixel here. I'm going to show you how to properly download and install the Fryer Timer mod for Fast Food Simulator. Before we download the actual mod itself, we need UE4SS and we need to make a couple changes in the files. So um, if you're on the Fryer Timer mod page on, in Nexus Mods here, um, just make sure that you're, you're in requirements here. Click on this UE4SS, it should open up a new tab. And then click the latest release right here. And then we're going to uh, download the top one here, the zip file. And then we are going to uh, open that up. Make it a little bit smaller so we can see what we're doing here. We're going to go into uh, Fast Food Simulator and Steam. I'm going to right click, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files. Uh, so we want to have of these two open right here. We're going to go to Project Bakery, Binaries, Win64, and then in this uh, zip file here, we just want to go inside of it, highlight all these, um, uh, all these files here, click and drag it over, that'll extract them right into there. Uh, we're going to go into the UE4SS settings. Um, you won't have necessarily visual code, so um, you can also do this, um, you know, in Notepad if you want. Uh, so the thing we want to look for, um, you just press Control F and type in Console uh, right here. So we want to enable Console one, and then I'm just going to press Control S, or you could go File Save, uh, and then we'll go ahead and close that. Now we're going to run the game. Uh, without the Fryer Timer mod in there, real quick. And notice you have this um, this console back here. Don't close it, uh, just minus it down. Um, there we go, we ran the game, so let's go ahead and quit. Yep. And then let's get the um, fry, uh, Fryer Timer mod going. So we can close this here. We can click on Manual Download right here. Go to slow download, and we should uh, see the Fryer Timer mod right here. Uh, yep, we're already inside of the, the zip folder. So we're gonna click on mods right here, and we're just gonna drag that right over to here. And then we should be good to go. We'll just open up the game again. Again, leave this uh, running in the background so it actually uh, runs the mod. If you uh, don't enable the console uh, by press, uh, changing that zero to a one, um, when the timer goes off, it'll pull up the command thing and then it'll be blocking your view. So let's just test this by throwing some fries in, uh, in one of the fryers here. And when it gets to 90%, um, let me minus this down right here, make this a little bit bigger. Um, when it gets to 90%, it should uh, go off. And then if you come down here and highlight, you can see, um, I don't know, I guess, what's going on in the background, but it's not important. Just don't close that. I guess while that's uh, going, we can pretend that we're just, you know, making a burger, doing other things. Not really paying attention to the fries. And we get turn on our computer and grabbing our different ingredients. Oh, there we go. And as soon as you lift that up, the timer shuts off. So that's how you install it. Alright, thanks for watching.